Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank the Almighty God for this morning. Today is Monday, September 5, 2022. Hallelujah. So the topic for the Open Heaven Daily Devotional, written by our Father and Lord Pastor Deboye, is the blessing of God. The blessing of what? The blessing of God. And as we have read it, just want to run some commentaries on it. But before then, let's read the, let me take the memory verse. The memory verse is taken from Genesis chapter 49, verse 25. Genesis 49, 25 says, Even by the, even by the God of thy father, whom shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that light under, blessing of the breasts and of the womb. Genesis 49, 25. Amen. So say after, even by the God of thy father, who shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with the blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that light under, blessing of the breasts, and of the womb, Genesis chapter 49, verse 25. Hallelujah. So, um, we go, and then uh, the passage read was taken from the Tarolomi chapter 28, verse 1 to 14. The Tarolomi 28, verse 1 to 14. Hallelujah. I will encourage us to read what Baba has written. And I just want to say some things. You see, from the memory verse, the Bible made us to understand that God of our Father, the God of heaven, the Almighty, is the only one that can bless. Hallelujah. No blessing from any other angle, from anybody else, except by the Almighty God. If you see anybody that says he's blessed and he's from, uh, he's not serving God, his blessing is not blessing. You see, it is not all these material things alone that we call blessing. Are you getting my point? It's not that you have money, you can ride Bugatti, you can ride a Jeep, you can ride Mercedes Benz, you can ride Rolls Royce, you build 10 houses, you build 1 million houses. Like I was told of one uh, politician, one of the aspirants, one of the presidential aspirants in Nigeria, against 2023. They say he has 100 uh, 105 Skype uh, scraper house in Dubai. In Dubai, he may know 105 skyscraper house in Dubai. Just one person. And Dubai, he can hear, he may still have somewhere else. So, uh, of course, in Nigeria, he will have so many. Because he himself was having, I think he's having more than four wives in Nigeria. He married an Igbo, he married a Yoruba, he married, <laughs> he married an Awu, he married a Usa, he married, eh? he married under age, he married over age. You no, know, I know, I, I believe he must have more, more than four or five children, I mean wives, and he was having houses all around. That's not blessing. Let me tell you. Yesterday, when we finished the house fellowship, I wanted to sleep in the night. And I was thinking, 
I say this God is great. He created human being. In human being, he created different uh, parts of the body. The hand, the eyes, we can see. And we can see all their functions. Abby, we know the function of the eyes. We know the function of the hand. We know the function of the leg. We know the function of the head. We know the function of the liver. We know the function of the uh, intestine, the heart, the uh, all sorts, the lungs and whatever. We know all their function and we can see that God created them, Abby. But there is something God created. We cannot see it, but it's functioning. Who can tell me? God created, God created that thing in a man. We cannot see it with our eyes. But it's functioning. <laughs> eh? No. No. And those are the things, like the soul, like the spirit. But there is one. Mm. Yes, but there is one that it functions, and its function is very, very important. In fact, its function is peculiar to our head. No? Uh, we can see that now. The machine that forms blood in the you know, <laughs> that's part of the heart. The sleep. Our sleep. We sleep, and yet we cannot say this is where sleep comes from. Which of the organs produce sleep? Egbo, the medicals. Which of the organs in the body produces sleep? Nobody can pinpoint that. This organ is the one that produces sleep. We just know that when you are in a good earth and the time comes for you to sleep, all the system will come down and we agree together to sleep. And you just discover that you are yearning. Before you know, five, ten minutes, you are off. You are off. That is God. And that is one of the blessings of God that nobody can buy. No matter how the one million scraper building you built in uh, America, Dubai, London, whatever, you cannot, they cannot buy you a sleep. How oh, can they buy you a sleep? Some people with their money, they want to sleep. They will give them injection, they will drink, give them drugs, give them everything. They will not sleep. And after some time, if man cannot sleep for some times, what will come next? Madness. It will run mad. You see, let me tell you the truth. The only blessing, the only source of blessing, the true source of blessing, eh, is from God. All other sources, they are fake. Is from the Almighty. And that the Bible says, even by the God of thy father, whom shall help thee? By the God of whom? The God of thy father, whom shall help thee? And by the Almighty, still referring to the same God of thy father, the Almighty God, whom shall bless thee with the blessings of number one, heaven. We have the blessings of heaven. There are some blessings that are, are blessings of heaven. It's not, the, the message is not for that. I will have told you what are the blessings of heaven. But note it. Blessings of heaven, the blessing of the deep that light under. There are some blessings that are from the deep, under the ground. There are some blessings that come from under the ground. Now, let me, let me cite an example of blessings of heaven. Just, let me just cite one. What are the blessings of heaven? One, sun. Sun is a blessing from heaven. If there is no sun, no human being will exist. No human being. Because all of us, we rely on sun. The plant we eat, the only food, the major source of our food, I said it yesterday too, at the fellowship, 
the major source of our food. In fact, what God told us to be eating is the plant. They eat the vegetable, eat the fruits of the garden. And the major source of it is the sun. Because the plants for, use the fertilizer of the sun to, to produce food for us. So the moment there's no more sun, give the heart some few months, everything will collapse. Everything will collapse. It may not even up to months before everything will collapse. And all woman be an animal will care of this place. So one of it, the blessing of heaven is sun. And that blessing of heaven is rain. If the rain cease, if the rain cease, you know the meaning. Of course, even if the rain cease, there will not be water in the sea. I'm telling you the truth. If sun keep on shining and there is no rain, and the water from all the heart evaporates to heaven, and there's no rain, and God did not allow them to uh, condense and fall back. <laughs> Everybody with uh, the whole heart is dead. So one of them is the, another one is the rain from heaven. So let's leave it like that. We have so many of them. They now say the blessing that lies under the deep. We have some other blessings of God. Number one is the soil, the nutrients in the soil. When you plant and there is water, if the soil is not fertile, nothing will come out of it. You know, when God wants to deal with Cain, what did he say? He caused the land. He caused his land. He caused the land for his sake. He said, even the land that opened his mouth to take the blood of Abel from you is thereby caused for your sake. And he knows that Cain is a, is a farmer. Cain is a farmer. All what he rely upon is the nutrients, the blessing from the, from the soil. So, and it costs that land. So, the, since then, the land is no more producing with all its um, vigor. And that is why any nation you see where they are killing people and they are shedding the blood of the uh, innocent, their land is caused. Don't be surprised what is happening all over the world, especially in Nigeria. I pray God we have mercy on Nigeria. Because they are shedding the blood of the innocent. Imagine people, you kidnap somebody, and you say people should bring money, and if they cannot bring money, and you kill that person. And you kill the person, you now sell his parts to some other person to go and eat it. Imagine that. You are shedding the blood of the innocent. Apart from that, the, uh, the Boko Haram, the terrorists, they are doing their own, shedding blood everywhere. And you are saying the land will be fatter again. No, it's not done. God caused the land because of that. Because of taking the innocent blood. I pray God will not cause our land. So the blessing of the deep is another blessing from God. Another blessing is the blessing of the breast. That sounds funny, but it's a blessing from God. You see, when a baby, when you have a baby, the baby will only depend, he cannot eat a amala, he cannot eat your fufu, he cannot eat your eba, he cannot eat your spaghetti, he cannot eat your, um, what do you call it, salad and whatever. What does he eat? The milk of the breast. The milk from the breast. The Lord said there is a blessing in it. And that is why if a woman wanted to pray for his son and he hold the two breasts like this and is praying, blessing the son, blessing the child, there is no way the blessing will come upon that child. No matter who proves the cause on him, it will be removed. And the reverse can be the case as well. If a child offend the mother, and the mother turned naked and hold her breast and started raining curses on that person, on that child particularly that sucked that breast, 
the blessing of the breast is and the causes of the breast is only for the child that suck it. You cannot hold your a mother of another child cannot hold her breast and be a raining blessing on other on somebody's child. It will not have effect. Is the covenant is between the mother and the child that suck that breast. So the blessing of the breast is another blessing, powerful blessing that God gave to a man and is from God. And if it is a cause too from the breast, it's dangerous. And that's why child must always do something that will provoke your mother to bless you. You must, don't do what will make your mother to be saying, I mean, to be mad at you. You must always do something that will make your mother to say, ah, okay, God bless you. That can make your mother to wake up in the night and turn herself naked and hold her breast and be raining blessing upon you. Because there's blessing in it. It's authority in it. no don't know if it's and he said, the blessing of the womb. Another one is the blessing of the womb. If a woman should say, touch his womb and be saying, you will like better to burn me, you will die. 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 If it is a blessing, it will come. If it is a cause, it will come. So you should know and have the understanding that you don't just take your mother with levity. Mother is very, very, very important because God put blessing in their mouth. At the same time, causes can be in their mouth if Satan is using them. Let me tell you. Already, God has given them authority to bless and to cause. Especially to bless and to cause, or to bless or to cause their children. The authority is there already, naturally, supernaturally from God. With that two organs, the breast and the womb. And that's why if you see all those women talking about they have the authority to a minimum and there's not nobody can take it from them except God. So uh, parents, I mean children should be careful, be prayerful, and always do the right thing to please your parents, especially your mother. Let your mother be happy about you. Always. I pray God will bless us in Jesus' name. So I think I've talked about that. Now going to what um, Baba has explained to us in his write-up. You see, Baba made us to understand. He said, The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and added no soul. It is only the blessing of the Lord. You know I told you? There's no blessing anywhere. The only blessing is from God. All other, they are counterfeit. They are fake. They are just to cajole you to hell. So, the Bible now says, it is only the blessing of God that make it rich and add no what sorrow. That means all other blessings can make you rich, but they will add sorrow. They will add sorrow. All other blessings, either from the witch, from the wizard, from Satan, from demon, from mermaid, from mami water, from Obanje, from any source, from ritualists, from kidnapper, from the drugs, baron, from any other source, they will have sorrow to it. For example, if you make money through robbery, one day, if the if the um, police catch the person, will he not regret all his days? Will he not have sorrow? 
He will definitely have sorrow. He will forget all the money he got. He has gotten. And sorrow will, over, will overtake him. Or a boy, a young boy of 21 years that did a money ritual and spent money and spent the money for maybe two or three, five years. And he died in pain. Then what has he gotten? Is that not sorrow? Or he run mad? He run mad. I saw some of them. When they run mad and they will now go into gutter. Because you know, it will now be swimming in gutter. You will be drinking. Uh -uh. Is that not sorrow? How you say you want because you want to be rich and the next they said you should eat some other person's poo poo. Because you want to eat, you want, you want to be rich. They said you should be looking for poo poo all around. You will not be looking, you will now buy bread. If you see them and they are in their in their car, you will see you will, you will always see a slice of bread in their car. <laughs> Is that no sorrow for Christ's sake? Eh? Because you want to be rich and you will not be looking all around, looking for somebody or else poo eh? You will be looking all around. Nobody be with leg by eating gum, have a bread eater. They will eat it too. Ah, ah. Have a bread eater, bear with it. But if you bear with it, I think bear with it. I think bear with it. I think bear with it. I think you see, is that no sorrow? I mean, but have you ever seen anybody being blessed by God and he had all those things? It's not possible. It's not possible. Anybody that's been blessed by the Almighty God, by all the blessings I've mentioned above, that Baba has mentioned above to us in the memory verse, the blessing from heaven, the blessing from the deep of the heart, the blessing of the breast, the blessing of the womb. If anybody is being blessed by those type of blessing, God will not add any sorrow to it. But anybody that has been blessed by fake blessing from the devil be expecting sorrow, what you done, the sorrow will come after it. I pray that one will not be a portion in Jesus' name. But it is important. But the major thing in it is obedience. You must learn how to obey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must learn how to obey. You must learn how to obey. Obedience is very, very important. If you look at uh, the Tarotomy that we have just read, the Tarotomy chapter, chapter 28, the Bible says, verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, to observe and to do all his commandments. Three conditions. Three conditions. If you want the blessings of God, then there are terms and conditions. Terms and conditions applies. The same thing applicable. If you want the, even if you want the blessings of Satan, if you want the blessings of Satan that added sorrow, there are terms and conditions. They will give you condition. I know a man, I heard of a man that was given a condition for his own blessing that he must not sleep in this house. And the man built houses. I was told he built so many houses in America, in London, in Badon, in Abuja, in Lagos. Houses. Beautiful, beautiful houses. 
And do you know that I will not sleep in this house? Cooking Sunday? When it comes like this, you just sleep in the car. You will not enter the house to sleep. You may go into the house, eat, drink, do everything. When you want to sleep, you have to come out and sleep in the car, in the, inside the AC. That's one of the conditions. Take your phone. I know of another one that he must not even sleep at all. That they give him condition that between 12 and, uh, is it 12 and 3 or 12 and 4, every day in the night, he must not sleep. So the man will not be looking for clubhouses. He must not sleep, whether in the car or in the room or in the office, he must not sleep at all within that hour. That is the condition for him. So with all his money, so what all he does is that every day he has different clubhouses that he visits. Night club. He go to one night club today, Monday, another one tomorrow. So that people will not, uh, they will not quickly know that. Ah, why is this man not this people? Huh? So he get different all the club house and night club houses all over the place. He will travel, go to club house, and stay there and be dancing. Even if he's not dancing, we just sit down, and be looking at them, and be drinking. He can He must not. He must not close the eyes. If he does. He go. He will run mad because the demon that will bring money must meet him awake. If the demon come in in the night and sleeping and see him sleeping, he will run mad. That's another condition, and so many conditions like that that Satan attach to his own uh, <coughs> excuse me to his own blessing that. Added sorrow, even with the one that is having sorrow, he still had, he still, he, he still attached condition to them. How much more the blessings of God that has no sorrow? The blessings of God that has no sorrow, he has condition to. And number one condition is that you must act in diligently. You must act in diligently to the voice of God. And what is the voice of God? The word of God, the Bible, everything. You, then, then you must take your Bible very serious. That's the word of God. You study it. You meditate it. You act in unto it. You act in to the voice of God. Listen to the voice of God. Listen to the messages of God. Listen to the songs of God. Listen to psalms and hymns. Don't listen to the worldly songs. Um, sasu. Um, um, eh? Waris, waris, um, all sort of. I want to trend in sin here. All sort of songs. Don't listen to them, but listen to the songs of God. Read the word of God. Akin to the voice of God. That is number one. Number two. It says to observe them. Then you must observe them. Everything you read or you hear from God must be put into observation. You must observe them. You know how to observe things? When I'm observing something, then you must take time to study them, to meditate over them, to look how it operates. That's observation. Then, after observing them, then you must obey and do according to his commandments. You must obey. Obedience. So those three conditions, acting, observe, obey, then you are qualified for the blessings of God. You don't need to be running up and down. And one of the commandments of God that you must obey is pain of tight. When God provides you with 1,000, give him how much? 100 naira. Give him 100 naira back and thank him. It's not that, uh, no. Then you must give him 100 naira. Then you must give him 
you must pay with a heart of thanksgiving. Say, thank you, Lord, for providing 1,000 for me. And you are giving him 100 naira. So you are still having 900 naira. Is that not good enough? Thank him. Because if he doesn't provide it, if you are, if nobody, if nobody patronizes your business, what will you, what, what will you do? Will you sue God to court? But for him to have provided somebody to patronize you, even with the sum of 1,000 naira gain, it is good. Take, under, take 900 naira and give God 100 naira. Simple. That's simple. And with the act of thanksgiving. And when you do that, God will be happy. And he will, if he has given you 1,000, he will now give you 10,000. He may decide to give you 100,000. If you do well and you pay the title of 100,000, he will give you 1 million. If you do well, you pay the title of 1 million, he will give you trillions, billions, trillions. That's how God operates. He says, He that, Omo do to wa she da da, only how to she, kotu le ma she da da zi. You see? The, the, the guy that got five talents and he did very well, God collected the one of one talent and gave it to five talents. Because he did very well. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, if you want to be blessed by God, you don't need to do Yahoo. You don't need to scam people. Just give your life to Jesus. That's number one. Give your life to Jesus. Hearken to his words. Observe them. Obey them. Chicken. Everything you read in his word, obey. Don't commit sin. Don't commit fornication. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't kill. Don't obey all those things. And give your life to Jesus Christ. Follow him. Do evangelism. Go into the old world. Preach the gospel. Go and preach the gospel. Win soul for Christ. Do work for the do work in the house of God. Pray to God always. Believe Him. Pay your tithe. Pay offering. Give to the poor. Help people. Do all those things. And the Lord, those are the times and conditions, and God will put His blessing upon you. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. So we thank God for Baba Deboye for the message. And the topic is the blessing of God. The Almighty God will put his blessing upon us in Jesus' name. So let us act diligently to his word and see if he will not bless us tremendously. The prayer point says, Father, please tell me what I must do to succeed. Of course, that prayer point is, uh, I don't think it's necessary again. Because he has told us what to do now. What to do to succeed is that you do what? You hack into his voice, you observe them, and you obey. So, the, I think the prayer points now should be, Father, help me to be able to do what you have asked me to do. In the name of Jesus.